Okay, so um, asked a question on um, anger at God. Well, a anger, anger. I mean, there can be lots of reasons for anger at God. Um, one of the things uh, that the ego likes to do is to project blame onto everything else except itself. So the ego is always looking for, you know, I'm a victim and who can I blame? So when things go wrong, it's never the ego that's at fault. It's, uh, it's a, a, you know, it's usually a person, place or situation of God that's at fault, but it's never the ego that was the orchestrator of the problem in the first place, because that's, that's just the vested interest of the ego. So I, I mean, there's, a, there's a book which some people may know or not know, the, the big book, and it says, uh, I'm like an actor on the stage trying to control everything my way. And then people don't behave the way I want to, situations don't go the way I want to. But I had, I had set those balls into motion myself. And that's why these things are coming back, you know, to sort of uh, uh, bite me on, on the backside. Uh, and uh, that for me then, and I mean, Dr. Hawkins used to call it Lucifer conversion. It's like how the ego will, uh, uh, um, how the ego is very, very clever in a Luciferic way of just putting the blame often onto the absolute, the, that which is your friend becomes the enemy and, uh, and that which isn't your friend is your friend. So what would that mean? It would be like, okay, well, God's, God's not the friend but my ego is the friend, you know, so keep listening to me. Don't trust God and trust me because I'm your ego. And, uh, but you can then see that the, the ego's vested interest of making sure you stay as far away from God and heaven would be perpetuated indefinitely. Uh, I mean, what if, for example, the ego was the cause of all the problems and letting the ego go is the solution? So that then, uh, then it's like, uh, then it would have been a life of suffering was because one listened to the ego as the source of salvation uh, and the ego was just always uh, usually blaming the absolute, you know, the thing that was, is the source of your salvation. So it would be a very, very clever, what would be called denial and projection or what uh, spiritually would be called Luciferic conversion. Um, so that would be the thing. I, I help people uh, as, as a kind of a mentor and they'll often say things like I'm doing so much spiritual work and uh, you know where's all the rewards? Mm. It's a very very common thing <laughs> like you know I've, you've told me to do this prayer and that prayer and, and this prayer and I'm doing all of this stuff and, and uh, you know, I don't, th you know, I don't think what you're telling me is useful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, where's all the goodies? You know, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, you know. Surely, if I'm sort of doing all this work and I'm listening to you, I mean, where's the goodies? You know, mm -hmm. like, and they're angry. I can see they're angry at me, and they're angry at the spiritual work I'm asking them to do. And I, I go, and I was saying it, it was actually this morning. You know, yeah. I have to keep anonymity with who I speak to, but. You know, I was just saying, like, uh, all right, so you're having to do a lot of prayers and your life's not going that well, but what's the reason your life's not going well? You know? And, then, uh, and, then, and they knew what, what the answer was because it's like they'd been acting like a lunatic for most of their lives and, uh, and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I won't say what type of crazy stuff. And now they've been working a... A, a spiritual regime for um, for a period of time, and they can't see all the good results yet, and and then it's my fault, and 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 and, uh, and, and spiritual programs fault. And then I pointed out, like, uh, do you think like being a total lunatic for most of your life has got anything to do with why it's taking so long? And they kind of kind of saw that, but you know, I know what's going to happen with them. They, their ego will make them forget that within a split second that they were a lunatic most of their lives and made a lot of bad choices and that's why they're suffering the consequences of that and yeah it's not going very quickly or easily but they, it's, it's the, how the ego takes things out of context and then blames 
uh, is, you know, I sort of said to you, you know, it's like, I mean, you can blame me. I'm, uh, I'm giving you all these <laughs> prayers to do. And uh, you can sort of blame the program. But, you know, I mean, what's, I mean, why have you ended up in this kind of program? And then they go, yeah, actually, there, there was a problem going on before I came in. It wasn't like bells and roses. So, that, you see, so then it's like, um, and that for me is the, the ego is absolutely, it doesn't want to look at itself as being the orchestrator. You know, it's like, you're to blame for giving me all this stuff to do. And uh, this spiritual stuff isn't working. And I've been, I've been doing all this spiritual stuff for a while. And I'm totally innocent. You know, and, and it's like, to me, it's like, I can sort of see it as their mentor. It's like, well, there's going to be consequences for 30 years of like total lunacy, uh, you know, in your acting, acting out in various bizarre ways, uh, which is why you got into so much pain and you came, you came to this place and to me for support, you know, because you wouldn't come to me for support, be going to these places and be open to trying to do these things unless something had seriously gone wrong in the first place. So, yeah, and I know how the ego works, because I have an ego, it's like, and as I said it to him, it's like he, he knew there was a truth, he knew there was a lot of truth, or all the truth in what I was saying. Uh, but I know that by, by, by the next time I speak to him again, it'll be again like, you're to blame, and the program's to blame, and I'm innocent, you know, and I'm being victimised. So that for me is just the very clever nature of how the ego is uh, projecting blame everywhere and, and does the most clever thing of all, which is why I think uh, uh, I like the word Luciferic inversion. It's like it makes the person or the situation or God the thing where salvation has found the enemy, which is very convenient because uh, it's, uh, you know, so if you can sort of say like, well, God's the enemy or the, my spiritual mentor is the enemy and I, my ego, am your friend, I said to the guy, I said to him, like, if your ego is your friend, is it really your friend? <laughs> is it really your friend? I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I said to him, like, you're welcome to go back to your ego and just follow its advice and see where that gets you if you want. I mean, I'm quite okay with that, you know. But he kind of got it that, that it's not really his friend. Uh, so, so there again lies the thing of, like, the ego is just the most cunning mechanism for making sure you stay away from anything that might uh, might take away its dominance as your, you know, the idea that your ego is the source of your salvation. Well, for me, if the ego was the source of salvation, you wouldn't need any spiritual books in this world, uh, or any spiritual programs whatsoever, or any spiritual teachers, because it'd be like, everybody would just be listening to their ego, and everybody would be happy and joyous and free forever. So you just need, like, Karl Marx and... Um, and forget, you know, spirituality is the opiate of the masses. Uh, forget, you know, just eradicate God and spirituality out of society. And, uh, and uh, society, you know, the, the happy egos of everyone will just live happily ever after. So um, I'm sure this video won't be too popular, but there you go.